Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and today we are going to be discussing my first impressions of Dauntless. Now I finally got a chance to play this game with the early access which you guys can all access now if you wish to play the game. It costs $40 at, at the least to play the game and um, it's not it's not bad it's not a bad game um first of all i just want to say i want to start off with the good things the good things is the game seems very polished um very well very well made um the, the character creation isn't too bad it's not the best character creation ever but it it suffices uh the gameplay is actually very well made the bosses are very very well made from what I've seen so far. The attacks that they have are very well telegraphed. The animations are great. The graphics and art style is pretty good as well. Uh, it's very, very unique look it has for itself. And um, it plays very well. The game plays very good, pretty solid. There's some things I like, some things I don't like uh, about the gameplay, but for the most part, it's actually pretty good, especially when you consider that this is an MMO and it's gonna be a free to play MMO. So for a free to play game, this is actually pretty pretty good quality gameplay. Uh, the bosses all have different uh, attacks and animations depending on their styles and of course your character can have different attacks and, and animations depending on the weapon that you choose between the small amount of weapons that they have now. I'm sure they expand on that as well as the bosses. I'm sure they're going to give us more different bosses to fight as the game continues. Outside of the bosses though, and uh, and the, the, the core gameplay, which is tackling boss fights, uh, this game doesn't really offer much. There's no, the hub that you have is not that great. There's no housing involved. There's no, you know, there's no, they, they, could, they could easily add housing. There's nothing, there's no, there's no, there's nothing outside of boss fighting that I should say, no side missions, no, 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 no nothing, just nothing. And that, I guess you could, you could argue that that's, just not the point of the game the point of the game is just the bosses and that's fine but even when you go to hunt the bosses which is very monster hunt monster hunter-esque where you have to find where the boss is and track it down and things like that um it's pretty much just you running around an open map with a few terribly ai creatures walking around and of course you can gather things and you can kill the creatures and gather things from them but uh, the, the areas and the environments, while they look nice the first time, get very repetitive after playing for extended periods of time doing different boss runs. They get very repetitive as uh, people just, the monsters just don't, the air, the environments just don't have much differences to them at all. They're, they're very, they're very uh, similar in all shapes and forms. And it's really unfortunate. I think they could definitely work on changing the environments a bit, make the environments a little bit more grand and, uh, you know, make some corridors rather than just complete open and fields and uh, things like that so that that needs to be worked on definitely which i hope they will do uh and of course there's uh there's just the the sheer uh amount of indifference and in character designs and things like that of course you do get to get uh more gear and things like that later on but from the beginning all your characters pretty much look the same uh even if you customize there's not much customization options but of course that changes as the game goes on but like I said, the main thing about this game that makes it good is the monster fights, which they have done very well. It's actually surprisingly well. Uh, I, like I said, I do have a few problems with it. Like I wish that stamina was a little bit more of a demanding feature. It seems like it's just way too easy to attack monsters. I wish they had a sort of stamina, stamina consumption whenever you attacked, which would make you have to choose between attacking and dodging like they do in some other games of this level of you know finesse but unfortunately that's not the case at the moment the game does get a little bit more challenging but it's never so challenging especially to me maybe it's because i've just played a lot of games like this where you just uh have to learn the animations of the boss and then time your actions accordingly so maybe that's why but maybe for a newcomer to these kind of game it might be a little bit more challenging but that's the real thing about this kind of game it needs to be challenging in order for it to be good because that's the reason why people pick it up so at the at the price of forty dollars, I definitely wouldn't recommend buying this game at at the, at the state it's in. It's just not worth forty dollars. It is, unless you just really really want to play it. It is a very good game at its core, but it just has a lot of stuff that needs to be added. It's very good at the foundation. It has a good foundation, but it needs a lot more to be added on top, which I'm sure they will do. Actually, I'm, I actually guarantee they will do. This game is very young, 
unfortunately it's competing against monster hunter world which i hate to bring up but it's relevant to this conversation because monster hunter world is pretty much the exact same genre as this game and it's coming out around the same time which will obviously leave some comparisons to players uh, especially considering that monster hunter world is going to be on a, a lot of different consoles for people so you can play that game at higher settings if you don't have a great pc if you don't if you own a ps4 uh, as well as Monster Hunter has a much bigger name and kind of overshadowed this game, unfortunately. But this game is going to be free to play, supposedly. So it does have some options there for people who don't have a PlayStation 4 or whatever or can't afford uh, Monster Hunter at the moment. They can just hop on this game, have a little fun. For a free to play game, it's absolutely harmless. I do see the remnants or the possibility of uh, pay to win being added into this game which i hope doesn't happen but i understand for a free-to-play game that's like the pretty much the only way they can make money is to add pay to win and i can see that it's in the form of loot boxes in this game in order to make different crafting and things like that i definitely see that as a possibility in the future but for right now it's not there because the game clearly is not out yet so to, to sum things up dauntless is a pretty damn good game it has a lot of work needed to 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 make it uh a a complete experience i will say but for its base for its foundation it does have it down it does have the monster fighting down and that's the most important part there are a few issues with it but for the most part it's a pretty solid game at this point in time i just can't recommend playing it at the price right now i definitely say you you might want to wait for it to come out open beta so you can check it out but other than that uh it's your boy hero be sure to subscribe for more information on Dauntless as well as Monster Hunter World. I'm going to be covering. I'm going to be covering both of those games, so definitely subscribe. And thank you for watching. This is your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peace.